So I just bought my tickets, um, the boat tickets. So I'll take a boat and then I'll stop on the first village and then I'll walk around and then I can take on the next boat uh, and go to the next village and so on. So you can go up and down, up and down on the boats um, as much as you like. So it costed me 35 euros. And here is the schedule. You can find it on the website, so there's no problem. You can find it and you can find the PDF version. I saw it early on. Here is the website.
to stop first at Porto Venere. Porto Venere wasn't on my list to stop. It's not part of the Cinque Terre, but it's on our way. So I stopped here as well for an hour just because it's so lovely. There was a gentleman that helped me take some pictures and uh, I was tempted to ask him what should I visit. But to be honest, it kind of talk for itself, the place. Like you just go and see whatever you feel like seeing because everything is so lovely. Like you don't really need any kind of uh, indication. Go and see that, go and see that. You just go with your instinct. And there's even a small beach here. So this is Porto Venere, but the beach is really, really small. But still, if you want to refresh, uh, you could do that here because not all of the villages in uh, Cinque Terre have beaches so some of them yes some of them no but we will kind of discover as we go because i'm not really sure mm -hmm.